I'm so excited. <laughs> I heard that my lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure, the dirty hag. Not to mention I've also heard my sister cuddles a huge sweaty baboon in bed at night. She even admits her favorite smell is sweaty gorilla feet. The worst someone told me was that her party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Can you believe it? From the Book of Real Facts by Frentilda. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're expecting this to go. And here we go. You got a little starting geo. Oh, that and is I, nice. I threw you a bone. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's going to help a lot when I can get to a shop. Oh, it man, it always feels good being back in control of Bug Knight again. Right. <laughs> Take a real close look. Take a real close look. Okay. Wow. Whoa, that's left modeling close. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, attacking, dashing, uh, wall jumps, all of them are split up directionally. Amazing. Um, <laughs> and and some other things that you would just normally start uh, Hollow Knight with, you don't have yet. Okay. Uh, so that'll be fun. Maybe I should check my, uh, I don't. You know, I'm pressing some buttons and noticing certain things not happening. Uh, I see a nail on my back. I don't know how to use it. I can't. Oh, you you think you have normal attack? You only have down attack, man. <laughs> that's that's attack. all you got right now. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Um, you are also a character. How's it going? Ah, uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dollar to come away with Ma. You, are you kidding? You! Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Dork. One, got him. Two, that's the best you could come up with. Oh, oh sacre bleu, such a brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. This character has a lot going on. I feel like you need to pick a thing. Can I get your thoughts? This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? Do you even have bones? Historically, mushrooms don't have skeletons, and even, like I know Mario World can be different, but even in Mario World, I can say from first-hand experience, y'all squish very easy. Whatever, we don't have to talk about it now. There's not a lot in the game, but they'll definitely do it. Like a few, like here and waterways, I think, is where like the notable ones are. But yeah, what we got? <laughs> 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 really planting a flag up front. That's right. The town yeah, of Majula from the best me. Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if contact lens person has moved on with their life, forgiven and forgotten. No? Are you? Hmm. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah, my rage is so hot right now I could cook you with it. They have not forgiven or forgotten. Uh, by the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. <laughs> There's still something so weird seeming about Mario receiving an email. I don't know why, but email in Mario World feels really bizarre. Even in a game where everything is bizarre. <laughs> Maybe it's just so mundane. Email feels like a weird, mundane, technical thing to exist in Bizarro World. It's like... It's like getting sent an email in Wonderland from Tweedledee. Welcome to the ghost zone, everybody. Oh, that hurts. Oh, you, you can't swim. I can't swim. Isn't that weird? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. That's, I forgot it was an option. That's great. <laughs> we'll check out the ghost zone another time. Good memories. We should go to find our friend at the radio tower before we just get too explory and lost. Oh, yeah. That was a thing we were 
doing the new friend, right? No, the old friend and the new friend. Yes, all the friends. What are you talking about? Sorry, to explore and lost. <laughs> you could, um, we could check out Green Path. We can get into Green we have Path. The, we have the magic now. Green Path is going to be a breath of fresh air right now. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah. And literally. I tried to attack to the left. Like a fool would Like do. a fool? What do you think this is? Go away. <laughs> Please clear out. There's so many ah, scary things out here. Oh, come on. Out here right now. Guy. Please. Please. Please leave us alone. You're out of your zone, my guy. It's green here. Go home. They're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Click clock woods. There it is. We found it. Is it in your head yet? <laughs> huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? <laughs> Guess again, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> this game's fun. But no, not, not bullies, though. Not me. I mean, Gumbella will criticize you harshly behind your back. Behind my back. Well, to me. She'll tell me kind of mean observations about you that aren't relevant to what I'm asking, but that's about the full extent of our bullying. Beyond occasional, like, stomping and hammer- We are actually pretty mean to some individual- You know what? Of course not. For real? Phew. Yes. What? <laughs> I was just hitting A to jump because I was bored. <laughs> wow. You got- P down, D up, P. What? Drop the damage your ally deals and receives by one. Well, that's not helpful, but... Wow! <laughs> that almost scared me, that was so... <laughs> Goodness, I should jump more often, I guess. So. Wait a minute. We can learn <gasps> to... Uh, we can learn to ragdoll. Oh, we can use rocks, thing. but we can also channel the power of ragdoll. <gasps> With Hooray. right bumper. Now we can descend with speed and rapidity. Like so. Meh. <laughs> Ragdoll. <laughs> I thought you were going to fall down the cliff. Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Ragdoll. Wow. <laughs> 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 I like it. <laughs> it's like, oh no, ragdoll! Wee! <laughs> <Floosh. laughs> the judicious application of ragdoll physics is just the best, like, physical comedy on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that they let me control it is also very good. Woo! <laughs> 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 I love it too. I know it's not that funny. Oh, actually, I disagree. <laughs> it's quite so funny. funny. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Good. Come on, Gumbella. We got a crystal star to turn into a door, or to, you know, to show to a door. We're not turning the star into a door. Well, we are, but let's go. I really like Koops's dorky little collared shirt. Little button-up shirt. Or hoodie. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. I guess it's a hoodie, isn't it? I was reading the top of his shell as, like, how Koopa shells usually look, but they've sort of integrated the top of the hoodie into that to have it have the same look, I just realized. Which is very clever. So it's a short-sleeve hoodie? Koops, what are you wearing? How does, like, how has Koopy Koo not fixed this in you yet? I think I'm hanging out with Goombella too much. We need to spend more time with you, Koops. I'm getting too critical. <gasps> Buddy, hello. Ah, oh, it's good to see you again. Please finish your game. Yeah, can, can you? Thank you. Go work on What are you doing here? They better be working <laughs> on it. <laughs> that's, that's them showing up at the uh, Xbox games conference. Just to, like, hey, remember us? <laughs> Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. 
Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of Hunter. <laughs> Here's some money. <laughs> Here's some money. Comments, place your bets on how many zones I'll have to explore before I learn to heal. I think you're going to get it pretty quick. I'd love to think so. That's what my gut's saying. I. How. So you've done a lot of randomizers without me, like, present and stuff. How often is your gut right? Yeah, it's pretty wrong. <laughs> Most times, I would say. <laughs> Very unreliable. <laughs> Very unreliable. In fact, it's it's more often wrong than right. <laughs> I'm confident I can do this. Just gotta find the timing for the jump. That's definitely not it, but... Salvaged it. That's eh, probably not what we wanted. Yeah. Careful. Ha! No, no, no! <laughs> I was there! Alright, little friends. Take two. I'm gonna name that one uh, uh, Robert, and all oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That was so short. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. You, remember Robert? <laughs> <laughs> I do miss Robert. <laughs> the, the timing couldn't have been better. <laughs> Still working on the others. I'll get there. There was a lot of text. <laughs> there was a lot of text there, to be fair. <laughs> There's so much text. It's a lot of text. <laughs> I, I was like, he's probably not even going to see this. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. You can go back up and you can ragdoll down it. You can ragdoll down it. It's true. <laughs> oh, no. Ragdoll. <laughs> <laughs> ragdoll. <laughs> Rolling over to your friend. Hello, Hello. I'm on an adventure. Can you tell? Hello. <laughs> Their face. <laughs> Their impassive. <laughs> Their impassive face when you roll up to them. <laughs> Come on, nothing. <laughs> Not even a smile. Not even a smile. They won't make eye contact. They're like, I don't know this kid. <laughs> Nah. Tim. Nah. Tim. Nah. Hey, Tim. There, he finally looked at you. Tim. Excuse me. You want a? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. That's not difficult. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it was me. It was me. <laughs> I was the real grub it all was along. The whole time. <laughs> no, there you are. Yeah. Lore. Lore. <laughs> just the just the idea of lore. The concept of lore. Sometimes that's enough. Yeah. It's worked for FromSoft. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true, but he shouldn't say it. <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> hey, you hear the latest, G-Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, you dig? Check her out for me, man. I... That's not my job. I beat you. If anything, I give you orders. Whatever. I need to take my egg for a walk anyway. You're very cute, Tibbs. I like you. Welcome to the squad. You don't have a lot of HP, but then neither do most babies. Let's go for a swim. Ooh. A little swimmy swim. A nice, toasty, warm smell. Smell? What did I say? <laughs> smell? <laughs> what on earth? That was not even close to, like... Sometimes you do something like that when you're like kind of combining words. Oh, like yeah. you're thinking of two words. That was there were no two words that those were like I was 
trying to say swim, I think, again. <laughs> a word I'd already said once. You flipped the W. You were... I guess. Wow. It's a, it's a new level. Amazing. It's like we're not that loopy yet. <laughs> Still, I don't think. <laughs> Shiny. Ah. Ah. Just the sense of lore. It's, We've yeah. learned something. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear. <laughs> if... If they put lore in a video game and no one made a YouTube video about it, <laughs> did it ever really happen? <laughs> Sister, I have a slime hat. And, um... Oh, okay. Slime hat. Sister. Whoop, 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 and I have the skill. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't you want to come play? <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. Welcome to Twilight Town, everyone. A little different than I remember. Less skateboarding. Whoa, calm down. Sit. Let's talk. Mr. Shimamura, please. <laughs> They're trying to have a conversation. <laughs> okay, no, you keep going. Have fun. Ow! Hey, Carrie, can I get, like, a the, you know, toad going pop every time he hits his head? <laughs> Just for this one segment. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just the one time just as a treat. Just the one. That's all I need. Uh, I feel like I'd be pretty good at it. I that. feel like you'd be great at it. Man, did you hear that? I'm having a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun out there tonight. Wait. Hold on. Oh, goodness. These are all interactables. Who knows what could be hiding in any one of these things of grass. Why... Any single one of them could hold any number of secrets, important items that could, at some point down the road, end up being that finally. I was really worried I was going to have to keep on finding words to say for the entire patch of grass, but I guess I should keep on checking just in case. There's something particularly interesting that hides behind any given one of these objects, like a coin. A coin, for instance, could be all the difference between life and death in the long run. If we find a shop. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side, too, like cooking, and when shoppers get rude, my husband escorts him until he's just got so many wonderful, I wish I wouldn't dip into the tub, and I could really do without him dry, but no matter how often, I don't think I have faults, but, like, shouldn't he have, well, you know? Yeah. Mario, wake up. So, um, are you even listening? Oh, it was a pirate ship and some other enemies. Not for long! And some fire on the water! Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's not fire. What is that? Or maybe it is. It's French um, fries. Difficult to say. It's probably French fries. French fries on the water. You know the Fire classic in the old sky. Pit. <laughs> I love classic rock. <laughs> maybe if I uh, spy a little more closely. Mm-hmm. So I was chatting with Rotbeak in Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. <laughs> and he said he'd just gone fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Rad. I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problem on those fat pipes. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> he's probably surfing that feather club for crow's sight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away all this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bus drives and survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. <laughs> well, crows are smart, huh? Anyway, what are y'all gossiping about? I've been really depressed lately thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. We got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. 
I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Get back in here. What's this? Something great. I bet it is. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I did some digging, mm -hmm. and I don't know exactly what this is, but here's a fun idea. Okay. Uh, if if you want, uh, Carrie, uh, what what's what lore did we just learn here? <laughs> what what does Carrie have to say to us? <laughs> Carrie, this is this is a prime opportunity. Not like you needed our permission, but this is a prime opportunity for some additional input if you wanted mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right here. You have right the floor. Here. You have the floor. <laughs> You're not obligated to fill all of these, but when you want to, mm -hmm. this is a space we'll leave for you. <laughs> Say, you're good at making things. How about a business partnership? Ah. <laughs> Too much work. I'm calling our business done. <laughs> but listen, you could be the salesperson in our new town. Mm, true. See, the thing is, little gator, Floyd, if I may call you Floyd, we're building a society. Hmm. And that takes adult stuff. Eh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't want. Don't want. <laughs> this is a really good ability. How did I get here? Bird, I'm so confused. And robbing you. A key that opens a door to some room. <laughs> Helpful. And... The letter P. Which is today's episode sponsor. Why, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight, the Dandemizer run on Playframe. I am joined once again still by Dan. I don't know why. How weird would it be if you just suddenly... I'm just gone, yeah. yeah <laughs> episode <laughs> 6. Like, yeah, Dan's not here anymore. Yeah. This is welcome solid. to the show. <laughs> Dance out. Dance out. Dance right. in. <laughs> <laughs> or, just, or somebody else was here on, yeah. on commentary. We didn't explain it or hey, address it. Hey, it's Mike Kaidun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You're going to plug my podcast. <laughs> I think it is going to have to be the waterways, unfortunately, for us all. Yay. Oops. Right. Seems really hostile putting spikes on the top of every right, you know? elevator. And who are this, those spikes, like, intended for? Right, like, it's it's crappy enough when you're doing that on top of, like, benches or whatever, so, like, folks can't sleep there, but what kind of problem did you guys have? Yeah. You know, Die Hard would have been a much different movie <laughs> if we put spikes on our elevators. I guess they were having Die Hard problems. Yeah. <laughs> Sick of John McClane's getting in here. Ugh, how do they keep getting in here? It was really helpful the first time when we had that whole hostage situation. Since then, <laughs> Since really I annoying. Can't get rid of it. It's an infestation. Fire. 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 Okay, fire. yeah, that's definitely fire, fire or hot. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Or yeah, maybe hot. Fire slash hot. Cool. Now we can say, you're hot. We can say their name, and we can say hot. Or you're on fire. <laughs> or I want you to be on fire. We should really learn a little bit more about the structure of the language before we try to assert something. Because <laughs> pointing and then saying fire or hot could really mean a lot of things, depending on context. <laughs> and I'd love to not leave that up to interpretation. Vast riches ahead, but there are too many bottomless pits. If only there was some way to make a platform. <gasps> I have that one. Hang on. It's, um, that. Yes. I know how to do this one. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> I do know how to do this one. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. There's something right near here, sweetie. Yes, Miss Mouse, I was able to detect that with my keen senses as well, but I trust that you will... Anyway. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Oh, the letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. Why did you still have this? On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter, 
You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. And then I just decided not to for some reason. I was busy. I had a whole bar to open. And then keep running, you know. Time gets away from you. Oh, yeah. Bench. Take a little sideways nap. Side nap. I do like that to just sort of sit mm -hmm. very tilted. What if he, like, just slid a little bit? <laughs> I would love if there was just a little... If he just slowly slid yeah. and he stopped at the end. Like, it's like maybe there was, like, a tiny guardrail or something, but... <laughs> that would be pretty cute. That'd be really cute. That... That is... If I was getting into modding, that's, like, the one thing I would one change. Thing just I'd this be, one yep. bench you slide down just slightly, very slowly. <laughs> that's it. Only change. Ah. Uh, okay, this time we'll take it serious. And we'll um. cut ahead. <laughs> Just to all save right, you all bugs. the time. All right, bugs. We'll be serious. Be back with you on a second. Hey, Carrie, in the edit, instead of the like, chick, 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 could it just be a, <laughs> like the, just the bug noise sampled? <laughs> oh, oh, they'll be so upset. <laughs> that may be the most upset they are about anything in the yeah. entire episode. <laughs> Hello. That brat Luca says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. Wow, that's... Hey, it's my friend, man. Be cool. You just walk in place and cool off. I'm so happy I could... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. There's something about that text box with the exclamation mark while she's sitting there completely still and static. That is very funny. This is Lena Square. They say people who hear Lena's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Are there... Are there people here who cannot hear it? Like, I've been hearing it, or I heard it this morning. Can they ring a bell that only some of us can hear? This is a magical world. I feel like we need a, um... Like, you know the old radio morning talk show intros? Mm-hmm. Like, you're listening to Dan and Dan and... <laughs> Corrupted it's me! It's you! <laughs> oh no, it's you! What's happened? Ow. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta not jump over you like that. He's, it does not he, work. He reads you like a book. I know all yeah. your moves, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> One more try. Well, you for like to play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> 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 Step right up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Hey, Luca. Check out that girl's glasses. She could probably see the backside of the moon with those. Y'all are really into glasses here. <laughs> Super impressed by glasses. It's like they've never seen them before. <laughs> Check out our war machine. Whoa, glasses. Let's go pester our buddy. Hey there. Hey, what was that Xbox tweet about? Yeah. Are you friends with them? <laughs> Do they know when the game comes out? Should I pester them? Can we get a game pass? <laughs> I don't know what this game pass is, but... Hornet, Hornet, what's game pass? <laughs> <laughs> Hornet, can you explain Game Pass to me, please? So, like, what's Game Pass? I understand. The hunt for coffee has weakened my senses. You are the rightful heir to claim the coffee. Oh, thank you. The coffee is yours. Oh, what an honor. Oh, can you... S it's fresh brewed. <laughs> <laughs> You it's open it's the door. really hot cup, it's steaming. Uh, you know that feeling when you sort of like walk up, you open the front door to a Starbucks and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is all you see. We heard you wanted aromas. <laughs> Where am I? Are you stupid? This is the kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus' army. You did know that, right? Uh, of course. Then shut your pie hole. <laughs> Everyone's so nice here. <laughs> I never agreed to return with you. What? With the ice cream. 
You accepted the mantle willingly. Now we are both bound to darkness. Don't you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kinda. But that is the vampiric curse. The desire for that which is just out of reach. Alas, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by to do our bidding. Oh, right. Now I'm <laughs> staying in the cave forever. <laughs> yes! Well, this seems as good a time to uh, wrap up the episode as any, I guess. Uh, we will see y'all next week when we're still here and figuring out what all cool things we can do here. In the cave. In the cave where it's shady. So, um, Forever. <laughs> thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next week for more Little Gator Game. Stop it. There. <laughs> he turned into a bug. It was me all along. Oh, shoot. I'm drawing a blank on the name. Of what? What's the, what's the short story? The guy turns into a bug. <laughs> Frank. Frank. The Shoot. fly? <laughs> no, not the fly. It's uh, the. Hang on, I'm I'm looking it up. Comments. I'm I know everyone's now. already. Franz Kafka. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say he had a real Franz Kafka situation, <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't remember the name. Everyone, uh, edit that part out, Carrie. <laughs> 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 Pretend that what we just said Pretend was it, clever and we thought of it really quickly. nailed the, the yeah. delivery of that joke. <laughs> here, here, hang on. Here's a good one. Okay, clean take. He's having a real Franz Kafka situation. <laughs> 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 clever and literary. <laughs> that reference. Uh, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever noticed uh, her eyes. Just back there. Yeah, just back there. Just sort of watching. <laughs> just watching. Good bug. A plus bug. I think it's Fog Canyon time. That's some bug. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the movie where the the, the bug on the farm had the pig that made a <laughs> a web that said I don't, I don't remember what happened <laughs> in that book. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> there we are. Yes! <laughs> oh, that chrono fist pump. I love it. Hey, money! The eggs were guarding money. Which is what happens in JRPGs sometimes. Sometimes, the eggs are guarding the money. Alright, now what's your name? Name? Ah, my serial number. It's R66Y. R66Y, cool. No, that won't do it all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. All right. <laughs> Good thinking, Chrono. You really... You really spent some time on it trying to find just the right name for your new pet robot. And, um... <laughs> just good work, buddy. Are jellyfish nature's gusher? <laughs> Because they look like it. They do look like it. And they're definitely like a a level of spice that is beyond probably what Ooh. humans can enjoy. Yeah. But I'm sure they've got some natural predator. And I think sea turtles like mushrooms, right? <laughs> mushrooms? <laughs> you know sea turtles and those mushrooms? <laughs> Can't get enough of them. Can't get enough. <laughs> I mean, uh, what, like, what are these if not mushrooms of the sea? Exactly. There's definitely something else that's a closer mushroom equivalent of the sea, but please roll with me here, no. everyone. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. They look like mushrooms of the sea. Yeah. They have a lot of... Instead of one stalk, they have many. Right. And... Instead of spores. I'm sure there's it, something spore equivalent the, along there. <laughs> I don't know enough about jellyfish. <laughs> I am out of jellyfish facts, I'm afraid. They, they, they look, like, kind of similar. They live in grottos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Which look know. like science labs. Are you happy now? Very good. Ipso facto minimo magico. Chrono learns mad to use magic. Neat. Morrow learns to use magic.
Robo can't use magic. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, are you Ozzy the Eighth? I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina's village leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? <laughs> if I was a Magus 400 years ago, I would simply have exterminated the humans. Get him. I'm gonna. I'm in focus time now. We're like actually taking this seriously. Here, I'll take an enemy seriously, comments. All right, all right, here we go. If I have to, sort of. All right, as you can see in the uh, the left corner, we have uh, a big bee with armor. In the right, we have a little tiny bug, has no chance whatsoever. Can't even <laughs> attack up. Haven't, haven't seen him swung his sword once in the upward direction. I don't think he knows how. <laughs> no one ever told him. Never learned how to up. <laughs> Yeah, At but, first, I, we thought it was just sort of like being stylish and showing off. We are actually pretty concerned now that this bug never learned to attack up. <laughs> a strong showing here from the uh, the 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 bee knight. Oh, he seems to be bringing in some illegal uh, competitors into the match. <laughs> this is um, definitely match interference a little bit, right? A little bit. Uh, there is... was no ruling on keeping extra allies within your mouth, so I guess that's on us. <laughs> Ah, welcome, welcome everyone to Playframe and Little Gator Game. Hello, we've been living in the vampire cave for a very long time now, and I think we've started adjusting to the life. It has been difficult, <laughs> but we've been trying. There's not a whole lot else to do other than try to learn. <laughs> but this is our eternity now, so we must get used to it, I suppose. How are you all doing? <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry, I didn't really prepare you for what I was going to launch into. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dan is about to try the challenge. <laughs> the first trial of the fool in the arena, yep. blindfolded with one hand tied behind his back. Here we go. Unbelievable. First time seen here. <laughs> Three, two, one, start. And, and the timer's ready and start. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is my <laughs> <laughs> And joining us on the couch is Dan. <laughs> and I'm joined here by Dan, of course. <laughs> now you see what he just did right there. <laughs> this is called bug skip. <laughs> it's called bug skip. You dash through the bug, save some time with the, uh, the death animation as the bug falls to the ground. Record time, no animation. Uh, that was a good cycle. Ooh, missed the dash on that second one. That's gonna pay though, because now he's gonna have to cycle back and get that. Other yeah, there we go. Gone. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, that's never happened before. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> that's never happened before. <laughs> now he is gonna take a hit here. <laughs> Your odds are pretty good on that call. <laughs> Oh, well, that was pretty nice RNG from that guy. He can kind yeah. of be a bit of a pain. It used to be me. that we would always start out fighting the one on the left here, but we actually kind of figured out it's just slightly faster if you take that hit on purpose. You can yeah. burn down the rest just like that, and boom, saves you about three frames. Yep. Yeah. And everyone's favorite phase here. <laughs> <laughs> Now we need to, like, make a video of us actually just doing this. So. <laughs> um, anyway, hey, Lucas House, we're back. Feels like it's been ages. How's it going? Hi. Oh, you're just in time. You got a Taban vest. It's my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. Great. I'll give it to her when we go back to the end of time um, where she is. Don't worry about that one bit. She's fine. Um, if you think about it, she's lived longer than all of us. Where she is. That probably doesn't help. How's it going over here, friend? Well, hello, Dan. I hope you are prepared to hear all my precepts of wisdom. And yes, I really did edit all 57 of them. <laughs> Gonna sit back with my cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... I'm glad I have tea ready still. Precept one. If going to a barbecue, cake is not an acceptable dessert to bring. That's just weird. Bring baklava instead. 
<laughs> this is going to be great. It's great. I am excited. <laughs> Precept two. Lava is, in fact, just spicy honey. <laughs> you heard it here second, folks. See? Zo so knows what he's talking about. Zo so knows. Glad I dropped down and got that item. That's great. And hey, spin cut. And dual tech fire sword. And ice sword. Wow. We've learned some stuff. Let's try it out on you. Mountains are nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave you alone. You seem all right. <laughs> Precept four. If you must cross a course, cross cow across crowded cow crossing. Cross the cross course cow across the crowded crowded cow. I almost made it. I <laughs> got so close. It. You were really close. I'm gonna try it again. If you must cross a course, cross cow across a crowded cow crossing. Cross the cross course cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. Very good. Thank you. Wow. That's hard. I'm impressed. That's really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm in your cabinets again. Sorry, y'all really should consider setting this cabinetry outside because I'm afraid this is going to keep happening. Maybe like in your backyard somewhere. I don't mean to keep interrupting your eternal meal. Precept 8. There are so many text files, Dad. This was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was, but you've committed now. I sure did. That's your curse. Yep. <laughs> Precept 9. No one really knows why they didn't put an X in, in espresso. <laughs> Frankly, I think it sounds better. <laughs> We're getting all, you're getting all the deep cuts here, everybody. That's right. It's all, all, all of our favorite jokes from all of our playthroughs. Bring back and the some classes. extras. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Precept 10. Espresso. See, better mouthfeel. <laughs> 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 Carrie's upset. <laughs> do, 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 do. Kino, be free. Keep, beep, 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 beep. Kino. Ayla. Kino, get back. Ayla, save you. Ayla, there's a button. We could hit the button and it would probably work. Ayla, there's. A a um. Well, wow. Well, now you're both in jail. Sorry, Ayla. All Kino's fault. Um, it, oh. Who needs buttons, I guess? Ayla strong, no loose. Kino understand and show you something. Ayla, that's, I know that you live in like huts and they don't have buttons, much less doors, but this is a button. And buttons sometimes open doors. You will try pressing that next time you encounter. Hey, nice. Next time you encounter a door in here that won't open, try the button first. I'm not saying it'll always work, but it might work. Sometimes it's traps, so you sometimes have to look out for that. But a lot of times, buttons get to open the door. I speak from future experience. See Ailey here. This is a button. Always press buttons. <laughs> this too is a button. <laughs> uh, that's probably going to bite us later. Precept 19. Be sure to T-pose over your enemies to assert dominance. <laughs> it's the only way. Precept 20. Dan, I have terrible news. I did actually edit all 57 <laughs> of these. <laughs> Which, so I know we definitely had a precept where we were starting to feel your regret, the author's regret. Mm -hmm. um, did, <laughs> did, did you hit a point where you were like, I don't know if I can do this? <laughs> I think, I think like a third of the way through, I was like, I don't know what to do for a half of these. <laughs> I love this. This is super cool. Um, bleh. I'm going to leave that alone. Welcome to Anhasa, in the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find a truth in the bliss of sleep. Dear me, and who might you be? Your book's on fire. I didn't do it. You can definitely not prove I did. Listen, I just opened the book and it caught on fire. I don't understand your... Modern past technology? By the time we get to my era, though, books can open without catching fire, so we worked out all the kinks. How's it going? Ooh, can you, can you, like, slide down and skip on the water in front of the camera without 
a s without maybe that'd be hang on maybe okay lock camera then off I go and then oh, climb something accidentally you might have to hide the UI too possibly hang on okay Nya. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it's the entering and leaving frame that I wanted, and I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Jeez. Good game. Very good game. Thank you for this. Cause like, <laughs> even though, even though we can't. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a lot about this I don't remember. I'm very curious to. Uh, I'm gonna stop opening books. Precept 23. It's the greatest thing to happen to a sandwich since sliced bread. <laughs> What's this one from? It's, it's a Vlasic pickle. <laughs> oh, yay! Yes! Oh, Vlasic's a classic. <laughs> Which I've still only ever encountered in life in your form trying to remember the catchphrases and mascots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The one and only Vlasic Sandwich Stackers. Ham up your ham, make your turkey perky. The perfect pickle to stack. All of that's bad. Vlasic. <laughs> Every part. <laughs> it's a real commercial. <laughs> Just like, let's break this down. See if you can find the part that's good. You can't. The one and only Vlasic Sandwich Stackers. Ham up your ham. They didn't even try. <laughs> make your turkey perky. Probably the worst part. Yeah. The perfect pickle to stack. <laughs> Finally, an answer to the question we've all been asking. <laughs> I've got all these pickles and I can't stack them. Well, Vlasic solved that problem. When's someone gonna make a pickle you can stack? Are there- is there one? There is now. <sighs> Precept 24. Cold chocolate is a waste of chocolate. <laughs> Man, this Zote knows what he's talking There's about. There's a lot of, like, really, like, big banners being planted on this Majula <laughs> Hill. <laughs> Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create incredible weapons and items. But now only the guru of life has the skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. Ah, plants are so content. I wish I could be too. <laughs> that was a real left turn in dialogue you just had. <laughs> Here's how you make a unique thing. Alas, we can't make a unique thing. Ah, plants. <laughs> this is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. That's Marl's theme. You ripped that off. <laughs> That's plagiarism, man. I know we're at the end of time, but there's still rules. Reset 29. They call it an oven because of in the cold food, of out hot, eat the food. Oh, That's finally right. yeah. the answer. That's it. <laughs> finally someone knows. They call it an oven because of... Uh, hang on. They call it an oven because you of in the cold food, of out hot, eat the food. It's it's very self-explanatory. Just, just that simple. You would betray me to stay with these humans. You would turn against the family of robots. Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marl, Luca, Frog, Ayla. <laughs> He's right here, Robo. You should probably say his name. <laughs> That's just rude. I will not betray my friends. Tough break, Magus. <laughs> I don't remember this being a direction we could go before. Yikes, there's snakes. Guy? Guy, there's snakes. Do you see the snakes? There's the treasury. No entry permitted. Yeah, but there's... Okay. Your snake problem to deal with, I suppose. Precept 50, uh, 45. If you look in a mirror while traveling at the speed of light, and the mirror is also traveling at the speed of light, do you see your reflection? 
Oh man. That's just a question. I said, <laughs> can you please tell Did me? Did someone been... smarter than us answer this? <laughs> someone comments, help. <laughs> we need to know. I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. How does Zod even know about the speed of light? <laughs> yeah, Zod, whoa. Where have you traveled to learn these things? Precept 46. What does love got to do with it? <laughs> Those two questions side by side. Yeah, are really yeah. Good. <laughs> That's a good one two punch. Shot chaser. <laughs> Well, to the basement then. Yeah, see? Should have let me come in and deal with the snakes, shouldn't you? Yeah, look what happened. Ouch, a rat bim Oh. <laughs> a twist. Not what I expected. And finally, preset 57. That was a lot of talking, huh? Have some water, Dad. Great. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, have some water. Thanks for the hydrate Everyone reminder. Hydrate. Oh, man. Good. I applaud you, Dan. Thank you. you. <laughs> like, I am very... This has all been impressive, but that you co went and committed to doing this. This was like the first thing I thought of when we were like, oh, we can edit the Vegas. I'm like, I have to change all 57 precepts. <laughs> gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm impressed.